racing. When many of y'all hear these words, the first thing that might pop in your head is Kachow, <laughs> Luigi's Pit Stop, or, source of, or some, some sort of Days of Thunder quote. Just ask Cole about that one. But to me, when I think of racing, I think of family reunions. Most family reunions might take place on going to the lake or going to a trip, but at the Bobbitt family, our reunions happen at the racetrack. Once or twice a year, for as long as I can remember, the Bobbitt clan is gathered together to reconnect and race our cars. Not only is this a way for a family to come together, but it's a way of life. And since I can remember, I've heard stories about working on races, whether that's my dad working on Porsches or my grandpa working on Camaros and Lamborghinis. And having grown up in this high octane culture, I naturally wanted to work on a real race. Sorry, Dad, your card doesn't count on this one. <laughs> when a new sports team was being formed outside of Athens, I knew it would be a great way to get into the sport I love. But one thing stood in my way, my age. I was only 16 at the time, and I had to be 18 to get on pit road. And not many people are looking for a 16-year-old to work on expensive cars. But conveniently, the age lowered to 16, and Dr. Mike Thompson was willing to take a chance on me. And now, since October 18, I've been working the weekends for MLT Motorsports. MLT Motorsports is a race series, is a race team that races in the MSO Michelin Prototype Challenge Series. This series has one type of car. The Long Island Prototype 3, or LMP3 for short. These cars are high downforce cars and look nothing like your average road car. And as a crew member, I'm in charge of tires, arguably the most important part of the car. The tires are the contact between the car and the road. Now, if I'm going to talk to you about racing, you should probably know a few things about cars. First part of the car is your engine. In the case of an LMP3, we used a souped up Nissan Titan engine. Who knew a pickup truck could go fast? I certainly did it. The engine is part of the powertrain. As most of y'all might know, this is what moves your car, but it's a combination of thermal energy and chemical energy. The next thing, which is always right behind your engine, is the transmission. The transmission is a set of gears, and in most cars, you have seven gears that vary in sizes. This makes sure your car is always putting out power. Your transmission is then connected to a drive shaft, which turns and moves your tires. As some of y'all remember, I mentioned earlier that the tires are the most important part of the car, because of the fact that that's the way the engine transfers the power to the road. If you don't have the right tires and conditions, you can end up winding it into the wall, costing you a lot of money. On a race car, when we are in dry conditions, we use tires with no treads. People ask me why. And the reason is these smooth tires become sticky when they're hot, and the stickiness gives us grip on the track. But that's a whole different story when we hit wet conditions. It can actually turn into a virtual death trap. So we switch to these groove tires. These groove tires act like pump, pumping water off the racetrack. We refer to this water coming off the track as a rooster tail, which you can see in the left picture. The reason we switch is because the rain causes these slicks to hyperplane, and the car can end up going into the wall. Most people have heard or know about the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, or NASCAR for short, but that's not what I'm in. LNC Motorsports participates in the International Motorsports Association, or IMSA for short. Most people know how NASCAR works, but that's not that's not the same as IMSA. In NASCAR, NASCAR driver turns left for a set amount of laps. In, in IMSA, which is referred to as sports car racing, we usually have to go on a road course. Not only do we turn left, but we also turn right. <laughs> like in NASCAR, IMSA also has pit stops. In our pit stops, we change tires, add gas, and we're required to do a driver change. This is something NASCAR doesn't do, and adds level of complexity and strategy to our races. Another difference from NASCAR is, we don't go for a set number of laps. We go for a time period. For example, my races that I race in are anywhere from one hour and 45 minutes long to three hours. And after this time period is over, the person that covers the most amount of laps wins the race. Here's a video of me earlier this year uh, doing a pit stop at Daytona.
maturing this all with you, leading to the lessons that I've learned through racing. Two main lessons that I've gotten over these last two years is teamwork and hard work are second to none. But let's start with teamwork. Teamwork is defined by dictionary.com as quote, the coordinated effort on the part of a group of persons acting together as a team or in the interest of a common cause, end quote. From day one, I noticed that in order for a team to function well and win, teamwork is key. When the team was formed, we were all strangers. But now over the last two years, we've come together and we know we can rely on each other to achieve the goal of winning races. Without the trust, we wouldn't be successful and we wouldn't have fun. <coughs> Every position on this team matters, whether you clean the tires and wheels or change the tires and wheels and pit stop. Every person matters. The next thing is hard work. Sometimes in order to get a job done, you have to put in the hard work. The hard work, I worked hard to earn my spot on the team and now I know I'm one with them, not just the 16 year old kid anymore. But this didn't come easy. I did any job asking me so I could learn and grow. And in racing, nothing is guaranteed. Luck plays a role sometimes. Sometimes that perfectly timed pit stop between an unplanned yellow flag helps us get back on the lead route. But it's not all good luck, there's also bad luck. For example, for example in MLT's first race in Sebring, Florida, we qualified fifth. And a few laps into the race, we got run off the track. This caused us to get pushed back to last place. Another example, which some of y'all might have seen, was last October at Red Atlanta. We were in third place when another driver decided to slice our tire. This caused us to be sent into a concrete wall at 120 miles an hour. But it's not all about luck. The successful teams are the ones that put in the hard work, tearing down the car in the off season to make sure everything is in working order, getting the track early and staying late prep for race day, and pouring over driver and car data to see the effects of vehicle adjustments. I was joining a group of middle-aged guys who aren't keen on letting a 16-year-old do their job. The only way to prove to them that I was capable of doing their job was through hard work. This meant starting my day early, getting the track before the sun came up, and working on tires and help setting up pit lane. I also managed the long, laborious task of getting tires from Michelin and prepping them for the track. When I get tires from Michelin, I first need to take all the oxygen out, replace them with nitrogen, and then I have to mark the tires. Marking the tires is just writing on the side with an ink pen what size the tire goes on in the car, our car number, and what set tire it is. Another part of my job as a tire specialist is to make sure the tires are clean and they're set to the correct pressure and are working within their operating temperatures. Sounds pretty easy, but trust me, it isn't. And for me, at the, long, at the end of a long, exciting weekend, putting in that extra hard work to do my homework. All the hard work has been worth it though. Now I'm more convinced than ever that I want to study engineering and work in auto racing after I graduate. It will be hard work, but I know I'm up to the challenge. And if you take any, anything away from the speech, I want you to take away this. If there's something in your life you're interested in, anything at all, go after it. And keep going after it until you achieve that goal.